Hi, it's me, Jamilton Fan. I'm sorry I've been dead for like the past month or so. I think two months now. Um, but I've just been really, really lazy and just never did anything. Can you see that bird? Can you see that bird over there? I can. Um, but today I'm going to be talking about the story of Thomas Jefferson and Sally Hemings. In the Ham in the musical Hamilton, Tommy Thomas briefly mentions Sally by saying, there's a letter on my desk from the president, haven't even put my bag down yet, Sally, won't you be all I'm darling, won't you open it? I remember one time that I heard, I was reading somewhere online, where somebody said, oh, they treated her like family, they let her go on the date, they let her go on to dinner with them. I'm calling bullshit on that, because why would you treat one of your slaves like family? I don't think they did that back then. I don't think so. My fan is really, really loud. <laughs> Better. Um, I'm calling bullshit on that because Thomas Jefferson basically raped Sally Hemings at the age of 16, I think. Um, Jefferson was off in France and Jefferson was off in France and he took Sally with him. And no one really knows what happened in France, but all we know is that once Thomas Jefferson and Sally came back, Sally was pregnant. But when they were back in France, Thomas Jefferson told Sally, come to Virginia with me again. Sally had the right to say no because in France, slavery wasn't really a thing, so she had the right to say no to her master. Um, but Thomas Jefferson gave her an offer that, she, that, he could, that she could not resist, which was whichever kids that they had, they, they could go free at the age of 21. In the end, in the end, Sally and Jefferson had six kids together and only four of them got to live. I don't know what happened to the others, but that's all I know. <laughs> this is really just a rushed video, man. I haven't posted. I need to post something. <laughs> I'm bored. But, um, Thomas Jefferson made a room for Sally in, in Monticello that was right next to Jefferson's room but was later turned into a public bathroom for tourists. Mm, why? Which I'm just saying, which I'm just saying, Sally was a very beautiful girl. This is what she looked like. She's very beautiful. And I'm just saying, why would you do that, Jefferson? Why? Oh, and also, Sally, Sally was the half-sister of Jefferson's wife. Martha Jefferson. So she was technically a Jefferson, so would that be incest? I'm not sure. I don't think so. No, but <laughs> nobody really ever, nobody talked about it, obviously. Jefferson never said a word about it when he was outside. But in Monticello and all the slaves that worked inside, um, it was an open secret. Everybody knew about what was happening between Jefferson and Sally. <laughs> I'm not sure if Martha knew about it, though. You guys have to search that up because I ain't about to. I just did the video rushed. Um, but yeah, that's basically the story of Sally Hemings and Thomas Jefferson. Alexander, would you like to say something before we leave? Huh? Alexander! My birdie's being salty over there. Can you see him? Can you see him? Hold on. Hold on. Hi, buddy. Yeah, you're cute. But anyway, oh, camera angle, camera angle, camera angle. Oh, but anyway, I'll, but anyway, I have to go now. I might take a nap. I'm tired. I'll edit this later. But anyway, I, but anyway, I'll try to upload more and bye.